listen, every day someone gets on my nerves and yeah. comes close to going to sleep. They don't know that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yo, that's the realest thing on this table I've heard in a while. They don't know that. They don't know that. They don't know that, but you know that. They don't know that, but I know that. Really? Wow. Sandman. It's the Sandman. Yeah, they don't know that, but I very much know that. But I'm very aware of that. So now I'm in control of that. Mm. So beforehand, I'd just flip. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you'd be going to bed. Killer Keller. Official dot com. Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Let's do it. Ladies, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast live and direct, central London or as central as you need to be, choose to be, want to be. Big shout out to the sharers and carers, people that are out there uh, downloading the television app each and every time. Thank you very much. It's free. iPhone, Android, for all your sporting art and street culture activities. Get yourselves ready for the upcoming Hoddle Wars. It's time to graph punks up and get up with some NFT gaming. Also, big shout out to Chief Rocker Gear. From streets to stage, Chief Rocker is the streetwear of champions. We're in the house. We are very much in the house. This is more than just one podcast. The milkshake has come to the yard. We've got a whole gang of writers inside the place. Please make some noise, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, good work, nice one. Uh, inside the house, without question, Sappers was definitely in the building, uh, along with a slew of an audience right here. Buddha inside the place, how are you, gentlemen? What's happening? How are you? I'm fine, you, yeah. you, you, you. Yeah, yeah, we're here, we're good. It's finally good to meet you, my friend. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. It's, I mean, it's, it's a long time. I find that you we go through these journeys of podcasting yeah. and uh, uh, characters, names, like yourselves, comes up all the time. Uh, and oh, wow. finally, me is amazing. So, yeah, yeah. Hey, you've been good. <laughs> yeah, I've been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been uh, just taking it easy and slow, but, yeah, I've been good, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I've been good. Do you want to let people know who's in the house at the moment? So, well, you've got the number one killer. You've got Mr. Pies. You big got pies. You got big pies in the place. Inside the house. You got Vinos. Come on, Vodzi. Oh, big, <laughs> big Vinos, and you got Mr. Reese. The mighty reason said that place. Woo! Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big show. It's, yeah, it's, it's a big show. It's a real heavy. It's yeah. a lot of lifting going on here. Yeah, the boys are in the place. <laughs> the boys are in the place. South is most definitely in the building. Heavy duty's in the place. <laughs> heavy duty's heavy here. <laughs> Let's kick it off. Where did yeah. it begin, my brother? Where did your journey begin in graph? Well, you know, I've I've always been into graph. Um, I've known a lot of people who do graph. So I started about 1990. Um, I wrote with people like Pies and mm. Vods and all these other people. I went to school with a lot of these people. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, so you grew up together? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah, yeah. Rose, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So you fraternity year Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we're for family. Tight family. Yeah, so... Um, so how old would you been when you when you were first getting into it at school? I want to say about 13. 13? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say about f- 13, 14, yeah. Amazing. What caught you? What caught your attention? I think with graph, it's a way to express yourself. Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of people who do graph come from broken homes. Mm. And so it's like, you all kind of gel together. Mm. And water finds its own place. Mm. So you all kind of make a space together. You all kind of chill with like-minded people. Mm. And then before you know it, you're a click. It's interesting you say that about the broken, fractured homes mm, thing. I mean, mm. that's, I, I would say that's certainly a, a, a influential to mm-hmm. you know Reese's mm-hmm. uh, graffiti career. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. he, he mentioned on his podcast many times. You mm-hmm. know, on the times he had been on, how how it became graffiti became such a tight knit family. Yeah, you know, even you know going through homelessness and all sorts of things. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You always had. He always had Graf as the backbone. Was yeah. that a similar case to you? Yeah, I think for me, wherever I went, everyone I knew done Graf. <coughs> so it was easy for me to kind of always find somewhere to stay mm. or find a like-minded person. But I think Graf in itself is the voice of people who haven't got no voice. Mm. It's the voice of the street. It's the voice of their pain. It's just how they feel inside is their own 
expression. So, yeah, and I think you are who you hang about with. You are who you chill with. Mm. So I think for me, it kind of gave me an outlet to express myself in the same way as everyone else done. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it does. Isn't it, isn't it strange? I always find it really curious that if, you, if you're into graph, you, by default, bump into... Right, as you, yeah, it's almost, it finds you almost. It yeah, finds yeah, you, yeah, yeah. It? I think that's the sort of way how it is. Mm. You always kind of find the same people who do the same thing as you. It's like for like. Mm. So yeah, and obviously, if you're around people who are going through the same stuff as you, and you know, coming from a broken home, then it's going to be more easier for you to form these tight bonds, mm. which you then share when you do things like graph and it just and all these things do they just help to cement your bond mm. and make it a more tighter bond and then you grow together and then you become who you are today it's fantastic what, what were the influences for that age the that you were at what, what who were out on the lines that you were like yeah well, fucking boy so that. i have to say people like zombie yeah. teach yeah. fume uh four Dark, mm. these are all people who I looked up to. You know, as a mm. kid, you see these people all over the lines and you're like, yeah, I would like to be like them one day. So it just takes time to get to their sort of level. Mm. It does take time, I it, would imagine. It, it, it does take a long time. So I've known these people for a long time <clears throat> and I didn't still get a good or easier ride I still have to do my fair earn share. Your, earn your, yeah. cut your chops. Because yeah. it don't work like that. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. You know, we, we're talking about the, ni- the 90s, bro. Like, um, got to hand it to you. Got to hand it to Pies. You know, Reason, Vods. You know, you, all you lot, you know, you, 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 kind, you kind of set a precedent. Just a, a, aggressiveness. Like, attack, fucking go, 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 go. A very South thing, to be fair. Like, it was so aggressive. Yeah, it is a very <laughs> South thing. Yeah, it is a very South thing to do. That's how we used to get it in. Um, you know, we just used to take liberties, yeah. really. Like, we'd get on a train from Wimbledon. We'd be, like, mob deep. There'd be about 30 of us. Mad. Like, we'd go you know, and it'd be like mob deep. Yeah, 100% yeah, like would be like mob deep somewhere. and just yeah. taking the absolute liberties. We'd be yeah. smashing the train, we'd be doing insides on the train, we'd be like smashing the window, smashing the lights. Right, because give me, so this is, this is what we really want to know, in it, ladies and gentlemen. Right, what, what is a standard night with Buddha and the gang going out? <laughs> and I. <laughs> boy. <laughs> Boy, boy, that's boy. Well, well say so I ask it and you go. That's, <laughs> that's yeah. yeah. That's um, what year? Uh, all right, we're talking. Anything goes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything goes. All right. All right. Nineteen ninety three. Let's go ninety three. Woo! Yeah, someone's on, in that's trouble. A, that's a golden era someone's right there for in you. Going to be in trouble, but you know what it is. We used to just get drunk. We used to smoke weed. Mm. We used to, like, raise our p- paint. Now I see people buy paint. For me, that's weird, you know, because the life of a garrafa back in the day is you robbed everything. You robbed your clothes. You robbed your food. You robbed your paint. You walked on a bus. You didn't pay for no train. So all this kind of new stuff is a bit... Weird, you know, I've seen a lot of these new guys buying paint. It's a good thing because it helps other people, don't get me wrong. Mm. But it's just like, it's just gone, it's a bit weird, but... Yeah. I, get the, I get the moral dilemma. Like, if you're a grapher, like, a true grapher, and mm. you're buying paint, I can totally appreciate that it goes against the moral compass of, of graph, It does, because right? it gives, the, you know, it, it's a whole start middle and end to graph. It's more than just the piece. Yeah, and it's, you know, a lot, a lot of people put their heart and soul into this graffiti mm. and a lot of people take it for a joke. It's not a joke. No. Yeah, it's like, it's real life for some people. So when people are out there now just playing with it, I don't like that. 
No. No, I don't like that. Real life, it is real life, isn't it? Yeah, it is all real cons- life. All consuming, yeah. immersive. Yeah, it is. Very much so. There's, you Does know, the rest of the, you forget about the rest of the world, don't you? You do, because you're, you start to get very insular in your thoughts. Oh. Because it's just you and your crew against the whole world. Because <laughs> everyone has their thoughts, but we're all together. Because we've already made our bond, we've already made our pack, we've already been through all these hard times. Because with every hard time, that leverages the pack mentality, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. So what, okay, so if something really went on top, or life or death, like, you exp- I'm sure you've experienced that a number of times, we can get into that, but w- w- what's the feeling within the crew? Does that, does that certify it? Does that make it stronger? Does that make it more, there's no going back? Yeah, that word certify is a very good word. It's like when it comes to people sort of p- putting up crews what they're not into. Yeah. Like, so... All this type of stuff I don't really understand. Mm. Like, if you haven't got the okay from the guy mm. or the person who started the crew, I don't know how people are putting up crews. So that word certifies is a very good word. Because like me, I'm certified. Mm-hmm. All the crews I'm in, <laughs> I've got put in by the top people. You can't be rolling with p- people for a year and not be put into the crew, but still putting up the crew. There's people out there right now doing that. They know who they are. There's people out there right now putting up crews what they're not in. So graph is just gone a bit weird. Mm. I don't really understand it. You're meant to have a sit down. People meant to open the books and put you in the crew. Mm. So yeah, that's for real talk, isn't it? Like yeah, there's enough people just faking the funk. Mm. Putting themselves in crews, yeah, yeah, putting yeah. themselves in crews. They're not in the crew. Stop doing that. Yeah. You're not official. Get official first and then rep the crew. It's, so, it's almost like um, it's perspective, isn't it? Like when you've got, like, you know, bike culture, yeah. pretty much are the same, you know, the gang mentality, yeah. just overall, you, you have to earn your stripes. Yeah, of course. Like, you get them things on your back. And there's a lot of people who are just riding a bike but ain't got no stripes. It wouldn't be accepted in any other culture no, like that. but because Garaf is so fractured now, it's so fractured before there was much more people together as one unit rolling to somewhere, going to a yard, going to tube, going to do this. Now it's all fractured. And then when it's fractured, one person might get put into a crew. Mm. So he gets upped. Mm. He becomes a made man. Mm. And then he thinks he can just put in all these other people. It don't work like that. Mm. You need to get your stripes first and make the people open the books and put you in. I, think, I guess for, for the time you guys were coming up, like that, the, 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 there was core um, values that you know were uh, passed down. Yeah. You know, from yeah, yeah, the obvious yeah. places, but yeah. but it's core values, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, like you don't go over people who are old school. Yeah. You respect the graph, yeah. you respect the scene, you respect what it has done for you. And, yeah, all that's just gone now. People just out for their <coughs> self of it. So, yeah, I don't really rate what's going on now with the graph scene. I don't really, r- r- like, think it's... Yeah. What's the hardest thing to accept from your point of view when you... Because, you know, we've got into this, you know, reasonably drawn out conversation ab- about this now. And I, I'm... Mm. I'm wondering if there was if there's a central thing there that you think to yourself like that that above anything just absolutely does my head in. It has to be for me personally, people putting up crews what they're not in. That's that is it. I can't really work with that because does that make you want to get out of a crew? It would do because that means you're not official. Yeah. Everything you do, everything starts getting limp. Yeah. So everything you do has to be official when you're representing something has to be official. You're representing a brand, you're yeah. representing a crew, what someone's made up and took time to make up. And then you're taking it for a joke and, not, and just, like, it's not a joke. Mm. Oh, yeah, because you put your life on the yeah, line. Yeah, graffiti's not a joke. For man. the thing that you do, you put your life mm. on the line. And 
like you're saying, that slowly... I mean, big up Pies, I know you're, you're moving, you're moving. So I, I know that it, it happens a lot, but it, it's... The more that it's become commercialised, the less those those kind of actions are being taken. So therefore, mm. it starts getting a little bit soft, mm. right? It doesn't, mm. it doesn't mm. hold the same core values. Mm. Mm. Where's that come from? Do you think that's technology that's pushed that? I think everything's going to have to sort of move with the times and evolve. That's just the state of play. That's yeah. in the nature of where we are. Yeah. But sometimes things have to always come back to where they started. Mm -hmm. And the thing with graph, it's got so much in different ways and gone that way and gone this way and people are doing this and people are doing that. It's kind of lost its soul, its energy and what it was mm. made for. It was kind of made for people to express themselves. And it's kind of lost his soul a bit, for me. With, with age, though, comes wisdom. We're all of, a, of an age, gentlemen. Let's yeah. not be kidding ourselves here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, And, yeah. Uh, you know, the glory of being young and... That's true. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It adds a certain shine to everything. Yeah, it adds a certain shine to it, yeah. And perspectives often gets... A, not... Because actually, it's even more perspective as you get older. You see it a lot more how other people don't, and everyone else will be like, eh, just say, you know, they're young, they don't get fucked. Like, hey. But yeah, it, yeah, there, yeah, there has yeah. to be that core thing. If there isn't the core values, then you do get people going over old school mm. writers. You do mm. get that complete obliviousness to mm. how this culture's got to the point it is, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's going to come with time. Hopefully everything goes back to where it started. You know, they say that there's nothing new under the sun. Mm. So hopefully that'll get back to where the real sort of passion of graffiti. Oh, graph. I yeah. I love talking about this shit so much. Uh, right, look, it goes without saying, you come from a glory era, a glory era of graph. And it, was, it was almost like the zeitgeist moment of graph where there was just all the right things happening at the right time. Mm. What was it? What, give me some of the most craziest, craziest stories. Oh, uh, 97. Yeah, 97. 97 from the man at the back there. Let's get yeah. into it. 97 was a very a good year for, for, for Graf. Like I say, I wrote with... Terrible for the public. All the <laughs> top Poor boys. Public, yeah. yeah, I've always wrote with, like, the creme de la creme. I don't write with no toys. All my people are official who I write with. Dude, is that, is that kind crew. of like a self-vetting that you actually have to give? Uh, yeah. You don't like writing with people no. that aren't on it like that? No, I don't like writing people who are not official. You mm. have to be in some type of DDS, MTS. You yeah, have to yeah, be yeah. in the top echelons. Top of tier. Yeah, because otherwise I can't really mess with you. That's, I hope that doesn't sound in a certain way, but I'm from the old school. Mm. So it makes sense that we carry this thing on and everyone... I write with, I've got more stripes than a zebra. <laughs> Talk that shit! Yeah. What do you know about yeah. it? Come on, we got the dons in. Yeah, I've got more stripes than a zebra, bro. <laughs> like, up and down, you got more stripes than a zebra. All, everyone I write with, we've got more stripes than a zebra, bro. Fucking great. I love it. There's your thumbnail, Kels. <laughs> right, so 97's it. 97's popping. Give me a story from 97. Well, that would be kind of like the first time I ever done a yard. I got a story about that. Come on! I got a story. Mm -hmm. So, I believe it was Pies. I think Vods was there and a few others. This was the first time I ever done a train yard. Wait. So obviously I was a bit nervous because beforehand I was just doing bare street bombs, street bombs, street bombs. And when you're doing street bombs, you think, yeah, this is it. I'm like, Sham or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm smashing up all the street bombs. Do you think you're Sham 59 all of a sudden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm getting it in, thinking I'm the top boy. <laughs> and then Pies are going, yeah, let's go and do a yard. So I'm like, all right. Immediately. <laughs> 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 okay. Kind of half crapping myself. At the same time, I'm thinking, yeah, this is my time to shine. Yeah. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. So we get to the yard, ball cutting it up, and then we get there, and all of a sudden, 
Pies has relegated me to the back bit. So he's done. The, so he's done the the bad boy piece at the front. I got going to the shed like some homeless dog. I got going to the shed like a homeless dog. Pies, do some explain tags. yourself. <laughs> And, no and do no some comment. tags. So I can't lie, like we done that years ago and that still hurts me in my heart to this day. <laughs> we now. done that like 1997, that still hurts me in my heart to this day. But 24, was, 27 years of yeah, playing it was, that. It was one of them good things. But yeah, we, you know, that, that was when we was really starting to find ourselves in the graffiti scene. Like I said, we all kind of made our own marks in our own way mm. had a lot of sort of teams going out there mm. too many people i don't really want to mention their names but there's people out there smashing it yeah. Yeah. and like for me it was a time when i sort of started to find myself so i got to the point where i started to get good mm. and then you know i went on a holiday for a long time um so i kind of missed out a lot of the gra the graph scene, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it, it, ninety seven was just mad. We used to go Wimbledon. There'd be like thirty, forty of us rubbing out of every shop we stopped in, beating up anyone we saw, hoods on, drinking everything we could get our hands on, just really terrorizing oh, the whole place. Yeah, yeah, we was absolutely terrible, terrible. You couldn't. Like, if I was to see us now, I'd think I'm crossing the road. Like, we were absolutely terrible. I'm like, come into my house. You know, yeah, it was mad. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like Wars, <laughs> yeah, exactly. it was mad. As, as you expect, that's how like, yeah, that's yeah, what it was bad. Star Wars. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Bad. Like, right. You know what I mean? It's exactly what, yeah. like what you saw on Star Wars. So, yeah. therefore, it's, you, you repeat you that. You repeat that, that yeah, the, of course. The you kind of you do what you see. And we kind of thought that that was the best way. So, we stamped our. Of, Forty, in a big way. There was no one who wasn't a good writer with us. You know, we were back in them days. We remember them was the place to be. Mm. If he wasn't down there, he wasn't no one. Popping like so that. you had to kind of sort of you had to kind of start to go down there, get a bit of respect chill with the uh, boys but yeah it was hard work because everyone's trying to outdo each other everyone's trying to do more gra graph everyone's trying to do more tags everyone's trying to drink more than everyone else so it was like that is, that is it was just mad it was mad. just absolute clear. you got like 30 40 young men all on the same wavelength and a couple of birds there was always a couple of three or four Girls. In a nice way, not what you go with. Yeah, like, just, just, just trying to outdo each what, other. Compete with each other, sort Yeah, of, like, just trying yeah. to compete just with each a, other. In a good way, like, not, yeah. not just, just, no ego there, like. No ego, no. Just pacing each other. Yeah, yeah. just... Keeping the steam up. Yeah, okay. just kind of putting the, the pressure up. on each other in a good way. Yeah, so, yeah, 97 was a real good year. You had a lot of people come out of that who are still here today and smashing it and they've gone and they've come back and they've gone and they've come back. But for me, 97, 98 was the year when the real kings... It all came together. So like, you know, well, well, together. yeah, yeah. I find that, I find that when you, when you're talking about, when you're talking about, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> That's my phone, sorry. Oh, right. <laughs> I brought my dogs with me. I was like, my dog, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One second, we just got to sort the sorry, phone out, kids. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, it's kind. When you went, no, it's fine. When you when you talk about, and I could tell by the energy of the room and everyone's smiling as you're talking about this the, the kind of glory day, the glory era. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it sounds hella fun in retrospect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, it, but there is surely th there must be a lot of baggage, emotional baggage. When well, doing that every night, raising the way you did it more than just paint. Mm. You know, this is this, this you rattle after mm. a while, right? This, mm. this, and as a young kid, as a mm. young person, mm. it, it must, must have felt like, well, where am I going? Where, where is this all leading to? Carnage. I think carnage. Yeah. Yeah. For a lot of us, I think we all kind of had a bit too much 
to drink in that respect. So we'd always be drinking. So we never got to have that moment of clarity because mm. that's when we have to start to think. So beforehand, uh, okay. we'd see that it's going to come because no one don't want to leave when the party ends. We all want to stay and still drink yeah. to not deal with what's going on. The fact that our mum's this or our dad's this. Because remember, we started off coming to graffiti from broken homes. Yeah. So in order for us not to feel anything, we have to continue to smoke. We have to continue. Okay, right, right. Yeah, you got to just smoke and drink all the time. I think if you had two minutes by yourself and really contemplated the stuff, what you do on a daily basis, you wouldn't want to do it. You wouldn't want to do it. And then the realisation may set in. Yeah, of course, and you wouldn't really want to do that. So you got to kind of numb the pain all the time, innit? It's not fair and it's not the right way, like, but that's how our life Props was so there's bare writers out there who's yeah. still on the laggers getting rap Yeah, there's still there's still writers out there. Yeah. Yeah. Come, there is a time Good point, that has mm. to like, come to a head. Yeah, know? it does it does actually come to a head at some point. It does, it does, but it takes people a little while to get to where they need to go. Mm. To get to their crossroads. Yeah. They, like it might come ten years, it might come twenty years. They might have to do a big jail sentence for them to realise and have a moment of Cl- that sort of clarity, clarity yeah. look where their mm, sort of life has gone. But it, um, I th- some of the common conversations that orbit in these podcasts are ones of, uh, better I do graffiti than do any other crime because I because where I'm from I could have been doing a lot worse. Yeah, graphic could have been a lot worse. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but when we're talking about you know mid late nineties graph in London. I mean, that was pretty... Like, you've described some he- a lot of criminality. It's grimy, but, like, it's yeah. grimy. When we first started Graf, we were sort of people who were doing bad things, yeah, yeah. who happened to do Graf. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so, we was people who was doing some serious things, I'm not going to say, mm. but who also happened to do Graf. So, it was a marriage made in hell, really. <laughs> <laughs> marriage made in yeah, it was a wow. marriage made in hell. Mm. It's um. Got loads of photos though to show for it. You got lo- yeah, you got loads of flicks. Got loads of flicks. Got loads of stories. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't just all doom and gloom. It's like you know the, the idea of having associated criminal activity to 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 graph. It makes sense. And and just going back to the original statement that mm. you made, it's mm. like that's not there anymore. So there's nothing vetted. There's nothing uh, co-signed from a authoritative place, a criminal place. It's it's diluted. Mm, because you haven't got no one to verify where you're from. Like when I was young and I was coming up, and you wanted to get into a gang or something, you'd had to get jumped in. I mm. remember the days when you got jumped in or you had to go for the tunnel of death. Hold yeah, on, what's a tunnel? You know about the tunnel of death? It was a tunnel of death. No, I don't know about the tunnel of death. It's only me and Vodza know about the tunnel. went through your legs, right, and you run away, everyone would stand like with their hands together and you had to go through them and they'd kick the shit out of you. Yeah, that's the right. tunnel of death. fell down in the middle, you so, know. Explain that one more time. Yeah, yeah he was so so that so shit. So explain that one more time so for the people that were... All right, so what kind of... So what kind of sort of happens is, like... There's four or five people. Yeah. They're literally so they're like that. Yeah. So yeah. they're all like holding each other like a. You need to be watching, tunnel. not listening. Like this is like good. Like a bridge. Yeah. And you got to make it from that side, or from the start to the end. And there's people kicking the shit out of you, off. punching you. I'm gonna miss like, youth. You have to go through that. So <laughs> that's go cool. There quick. The best yeah. thing to do was to dive. It's kind of getting cool, like getting, getting jumped it in. But so you ain't selling it to me yeah. at all, bro. <laughs> that to me sounds like horrific. That's the realness. Cool I definitely had that. We had, yeah, we had that, that, mate. We had, yeah. Yeah. I yeah, I had that. That's, that's the tunnel of uh, death, bro. So all these things kind of cement the person who you are and make sure that people know that you're official. Certified. Yeah, you've gone through, like, these these kids out there nowadays, they don't know things like that. Wow. They just get a little 
fame and it goes to their head, little fame. And, and now they feel like they're superstars. Yeah. So, but yeah, but you got to, in order to kind of go to heaven, you got to go, go through go hell. Go through it, yeah. So, yeah, these, yeah. It's, What's the thing you've gone through that, not necessarily from a prospect, prospect point of view of like being kicked down a, down a human tunnel, but, but more, <laughs> <of> like, <laughs> more over like things that you could say to yourself, fuck man, that, I really didn't need to be going through that. That was a lot. And, and, and actually, actually now, even maybe on a level of PTSD where you kind of think it through sometimes. And is there anything like that that really haunts you? Do you know what, yeah, I, there's a few things I could say. I'm not going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sure. But, yeah, I've, I've been through a lot of things and I've put a lot of pe people through things, mm. to be honest with you. Right. Um, it's not just all poor me. I've done a lot of bad things. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't really blame other people for my actions. I've reformed now. The person who I used to be was a very bad person. Mm -hmm. When you hear my name, it's curtains. Oh, hey. It's curtains. If I'm coming to the place, it's curtains. It's game over. People know about me. When I come to the place, it's curtains. But I I've stopped that. And I'm a grown man now. Yeah. And I can understand how my actions affect other people. But going back to what you said, it's about growth. It it's about, about growth. spiritual growth. Yeah. And it's about mental growth. Mm. And once all these things happen, you start to realise who you are, what you're here for, and the fact that what you do affects not just you, but other people. The butterfly effect, isn't it's it? It's the butterfly mm. effect, yeah. So as long as you stay focused and stay true to who you are, listen, every day someone gets on my nerves and yeah. comes close to going to sleep. They don't know that. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, that's the realest thing on this table I've heard in a while. They don't really, know that. Bro. They don't know that. They don't know that, but they you don't know, know that. But really? I know that. Really? Wow. Sandman. It's the same. Yeah, man. they don't know that, but I very much know that. But I'm very aware of that. So now I'm in control of that. Mm. So beforehand, I'd just flip. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you'd be going to bed. And it's on. But now I understand that. And it's not so much about the other person, it's about me. Remember, when you do things to people, some of the time it's what you don't like about yourself, what you see in that person. So when you start to have realization and knowledge of your true self, yeah. you can start to see these things. A lot of people don't find that. It takes time. It takes time. You might have to have a big sentence. You might have to get shot. You might have to get stabbed mm -hmm. for you to realise, you know what, I'm not part of this life. I don't want to be part of this yeah. life. I'm caught up in something what I don't really want to be, be in. Why do you think it takes something so critical or, you know, out the box, life changing for people. Because it has to be something that makes you stop, makes you stop and think. You, you have to have time to evaluate the situation. So when mm -hmm. you're running up and down the streets, doing graph, yeah. beating people up for no reason, getting up, getting up, doing this train, that train, you don't have time to realize or reflect about why you're doing these things. Mm. Because you're trying to numb the pain. So the graffiti is a cathartic way for you to feel a bit better about yourself and in your surroundings, you don't really care who you hurt as long as you feel okay. Hurt even people that you may be associated with or know within the 40 or so people, you know, yeah. did it ever get to that where, you know, internally? Yeah, it did, yeah, a few times, yeah. yeah. Like I say... Because drink's in play. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? drink's in play, that's why I don't drink uh, at all. I don't to drink a tour, they call me Buddha, but I don't smoke weed, I haven't smoked weed for years. That person doesn't agree with me and it brings up a person who no one don't want, want to see or know. Most of the writers who you have on here, when you ask them about me, they will tell you. So, yeah, when drink's involved, yeah, it's... it's, it's it all goes south. It's uh, sleep time for everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You said butterfly. Well, I said butterfly effect. We concluded that it was a. It, it's it's the energy that you put out. One, yeah, it is. One thing about Graf <clears throat> and all of you in here, for that matter, is um when you uh, do a piece, when you do something, you 
you, you hit, hit your mark on something. Uh, it, the reverberations of that, you know, it's, I, I find it so curious that, that, you know, the work rate that you guys have to do to get your name up when you're not using social media, when you are going out there and doing it, and the reverberations of that, it was, it's almost like a, 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 a sort of communication in a way. It is. It is. Morse code. It is. It is. Yeah. That's why I've got to kind of take my hat off to people like Pies and that. Because yeah. yeah. they've been around way before this sort of social media thing. Because they've been around way before this sort of sort of internet, social media, getting your name up like that. My man's been d d d doing this from a long time. Him, Vod, Reese, yeah. been doing it from a long time. Yeah, you said it, you said it. Yeah, yeah, Pies, you're, you're one of the last ones doing it. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the you know I mean? last ones, bro. He's yeah. the real king, bro. Like, yeah. like, there's a lot of people who are doing graph, and I respect that and all that, but Pies is... Uh, king up yeah. in here. And I might just add as well, because you're probably wondering what's Pies doing. He's minding his business. He, he's never saying never. He's just here for the vibes. He's just here for the vibes right, right now. So, yeah, don't get your knickers in a twist that he ain't been on yet, all right? That's all in due course sometimes. Yeah, yeah, just here to <laughs> mind me. Just here to mind me and make sure I don't get in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's here to just make sure I don't get in trouble. He was like, make sure you don't drink. He was like, yeah, make sure you don't drink. Remember, Buddha, it's what you don't say. Yeah. Don't... <laughs> it's all up here. Do you still love it? I do, yeah. I can't, you know what? It's like you fall out of it and then you fall in with it and you fall out of it. Mm. Like I said, I kind of kind of miss my peak in a way. I was getting up to a certain point and then I went... South, let's say, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's always going to be in my veins. I love graffiti, mm. I love what it brings, mm. I love the camaraderie, I love mm. the colors, I love being able to express yourself on a piece of paper. I love if you see your stuff on a train, I love mm. how that makes your heart feel. Mm. I love that you can be in a place and like what you're doing is expressing how you truly feel, whether that be on canvas or mm. whatever. So, to be able to draw. Mm. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's, yeah, it's a you guys are so lucky. blessing. Because you might not be able to verbalise how you feel, but you can do it with a spray can. There's a lot of good free writers who can't read, can't write. Yeah. They can do their tag, though. Yeah. <laughs> they can spell their tag, though. It's the realest talk. It's so true. Yeah, they can't read, they can't never write. Been they to can school, school, never been to school, never done college, never done art yeah. degrees. But they can spell their tag. They might spell it not f phonetically, mm. but... They still get it done. It's the realest art form there is still left. 100%. It's the realest art form left because it's about self-expression. There's nothing holding you back. Mm -hmm. There's no barrier. There's no box. It has to be like this. It has to be like that. It's not like that. It's about what you think, yeah. your letters, yeah. your colours, yeah. what you choose. So that's when you're not constrained... Mm -hmm. That's the realest form of art, like closing your eyes and drawing. That's how you really feel. Mm. And we don't condone any of this on the podcast, but that basically is the mission brief. That if, to keep the culture alive, keep you it gotta, moving. You've got you gotta, you gotta, to have that mandate. You've got to keep it alive. It's been here for too long for it to just die out. But mm. like we're saying, getting back keep to the point, alive. keep keep Graf alive. Yeah, yeah. 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 Keep oh, breath alive. Man. It's true, it's a, it's a real thing, but it's like we're going back to that thing what we were talking about before about people not being in crews. This is when it starts getting all messed up yeah. and people start dividing and it starts to lose its core yeah. values, yeah. which it is does. respect. Yeah, respect is yeah. what is, is which lacking. Is, which is respect and people being in a crew, what they're meant to be in a crew, and people not going over old school people who are up, up sort of older than... Pioneers. Yeah, the, 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 the pioneers of graffiti. People need to know their history about graffiti. It's all right writing and mm. all that, but if I said to you, can you name six old school writers from America or France, or whatever, most, most people, people don't, don't, even even know, know. don't even know your yeah. history. You're writing something and trying to get involved in this and you don't even know the start the middle all you can see is the end but we ain't promised tomorrow 
Yo, that's the real realist, isn't it? You're not promised tomorrow. No, you're not. So you put in the work. Whatever it is you're doing, just put the fucking work in and and be true. True to true to the, the mission, the cause. True to what you believe in and true to yourself. Yeah. Forget anything else. As long as you can look yourself in the mirror, then you're a winner. And you're feeling good, buddy. You're feeling I'm good. feeling good. I'm surrounded by my people. I've got good people surrounding me. Yeah, I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. My brother, it's been a pleasure having you on. Yeah, own. you know what? Before I go, I want to yeah. say uh, to big up a few people. Do you go? Yeah. So, so yours. <clears throat> first of all, I'd like to big up the boy. Um, then I need to big up Probe FDC. Mm-hmm. Big up Probe. Mm-hmm. Um, Dame. Nice. Can't forget Dame. Oh, He's my Dame. boy. Yeah. Um, Katie. Um, I also... Well, you got me thinking now. So uh, you got getting all the time a few people. Um, I need to big up uh, Neat. Mm-hmm. Can't forget Sham. I got to say, rest in peace, my boy. Speak. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, speak. Rest in peace, sane. Mm-hmm. And rest in peace, some. Mm-hmm. Um, if, listen, if there's any name or any person I forgot, please forgive me. It's been a hectic day, but oh yeah, I need to big up my brother. Greeky. Greeky. Yeah. Greeky. Take care. Buddha out. Yo. And just like that, we're out of the In Was Out of Fashion Killer Killer Podcast, giving it to all rugged, as we do every week. Sharing is caring, all right? We're not doing this for our hells. We, we come, in, come in for fun. This is vibes, to so spread the vibe, all right? Uh, crime don't pay, neither do they. Take care of yourselves. Don't talk to anyone, I wouldn't. Be lucky, people. Peace. That was ridiculous. Deep.